Excitement levels have certainly been ratcheted up here at Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Burnley facing Leicester City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Ben Mee in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you for attending today's game at Turf Moor, home of the Clarets. Enjoy today's game. And the game begins. And he takes it on! And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And over comes the corner. And you need your defender to take charge. Body on the line. Lookman. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, we know he's a... Oh, he could be in trouble here. Well, just a yellow card, and you can see what they think of that decision, Stuart. Well, did he stop a goal-scoring opportunity? I'm with the referee. I'm not sure it was clear-cut. Not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. And back with Thomas. Iheanacho. A danger here as he runs at them. Lookman. Iheanacho. Ndidi. Save. Just the clearance that was needed. Crossing opportunity. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Jay Rodriguez. McNeil. Good movement. An important interception. Tielemans. 
Now Iannaccio. Ndidi. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. How could he take them on and beat them? Good looking cross. Not away completely. Well, they can keep possession now. Iannaccio. The Foxes moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, great block. And possession lost, intercepted. Interception to snuff out the danger. Happy birthday to Sasha Walker celebrating today. Cork. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, he likes to run at them. That's not a bad ball. Well, it was a superb counter attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition, and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Tielemans. Lovely ball over the top. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Veghorst. Absolutely spot on, and they keep the ball. Tielemans. Tielemans, chance to put them in front. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Short corner it is. Cutting the ball back. Perfect tackle. Lookman. Can he finish? Tremendous block. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And that pass could be troublesome. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Veghorst and an astute piece of defending. Possession lost by the Foxes here. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. All Brighton. Lookman. Iannaccio. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. to extend their lead here. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Oh, 
And when you see this again, the goalkeeper goes the right way, but it's almost the perfect penalty into that top corner. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about that. That's brilliant. Leicester City goal. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, he struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue the service hasn't been good enough, but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs to improve here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Encouraging move from Leicester. Ian Acho. Madison. Every pass hitting its target. Can he put it away? Ian Acho! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment, while the movement in the box is equal to it. Such good timing. What a goal. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Brownhill. And nicely cut out. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. All Brighton. Well, as the stats confirm, Leicester have had the lion's share of possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Ndidi. Tielemans. Terrific block. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Beautifully disguised ball. And possession given away. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Can they convert? Well, he keeps going. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Substitution in the offing. Number 19, Jay Rodriguez. And number 17, Aaron Lennon. To be replaced by number 10, Ashley Barnes. And number 20, Maxwell Cornett. Substitution for Leicester City. He's driven in the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. To be replaced by number 22, Veghorst. Cornet has it. A wonderful intervention. James Madison. Well, the pass not finding its target. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Coming onto the pitch, number 18, Ashley Westwood. Substitution for Leicester City. Coming onto the 
here's me. Ashley Barnes. McNeil. McNeil. That's a useful cross. Defensive excellence there. Well, that'll be a free kick. And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Well, the action continues and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Thomas and into the last 15 minutes of action Thomas now fluency of movement can he convert now closed down straight away crossing possibilities not high quality defending Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Josh Brownhill. Ashley Westwood on the ball. It might be on for them. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Daka. Now indeedy. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Really good high press. Can he finish? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Elects to go short. Clean challenge. Useful looking ball. And he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, another goal! You just cannot keep them down. And it sets up a furious finish. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. with the game then 3-2 what will happen next and a big chunk of added time here a minimum of five minutes Ndidi Daka well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity 
and teammates to play it to. Oh, what a great save to keep them in front. Well, he's just about won them the game here. Great stop. And now the delivery. And the danger clear. And that's going to be all for this game. There won't be too many happy Clarets fans heading home on the back of this defeat. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, a top-level contribution from James Madison, and we do say that quite a bit. Has the ability to decide a game on his own. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least from 12 yards. He always looked confident, though. You just didn't expect him to miss.